I've got a private at uh, seven o'clock this morning and then I'm teaching a class at nine. It's Ariana Grande themed playlist. I shouldn't say theme, it's an Ariana Grande playlist. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for my private right now. Nice and early. <laughs> class coming up here in five minutes so I'm just setting up and there are already three people in the zoom waiting room so yeah today's an Ariana Grande class focusing on hip stability so that means it's a lot of sideline leg work a lot of work on the piriformis muscle um, which is challenging for everybody um, ah be right back and then I'm gonna try my best once I'm done here to get out of here quickly so I can go and observe a class. So hopefully that works out. I think I've got everything that I need kind of right here so I should be able to do that um, pretty easily, hopefully. Hi, Mom. Hi. Yeah, yeah. You can hear it now though. Other people say that they can hear it fine. Okay, I'm gonna let other people. Okay, there's supposed to be like nine of us, so I'm gonna give everyone um, uh, like enough time to get in here and get ready. And uh, let me actually double check something really quick. Okay, and then while we're here, while we've got a minute, can we hear me? Can we hear the music? Do we need the music louder? Is it at a good level? It's fine, good. No one seems like they're objecting to the music level, so we'll just keep it, okay, cool. Thank you. That's all I need is just like a <laughs> cool. Okay. If you've never done Pilates before, a couple things um, right out the gate that are important to know. Um, all Pilates exercises initiate with your breath and they initiate from your core. Um, there's a big focus on um, 
on developing your core strength and developing the strength of your postural muscles, all those muscles that surround your spine. Um, and because there is such a big focus on um, core strength and building that up, sometimes the exercises can burn out kind of quickly. So if at any point you're like going through something and you're like, ah, like I don't know if I can like make it through, just take a breath, reset, get back in when you're ready, take a drink of water when you need to, take a pause when you need to, that is totally fine. Um, do, do, do. Uh, I give a lot of modifications and progressions as we go throughout class. That is just how I teach because I want you to be able to make this work in your body. So if we get into something and you're like, I'm not sure right away, just wait a second and I'll give you another option. Um, and I'm trying to think other than that, with the general flow of class, we'll always start off in a warm up. We start with breathing just to kind of center ourselves, ground things and like get ready to move. We'll do stuff obviously on the mat. And then typically I like to wrap up standing. We'll get some standing stuff in today. The only time we won't do standing is if in the class description it says that it's an all mat class. Other than that, I think that is everything I have to cover. Um, you guys are gonna be great. I'm gonna hit record. Um, do, do, do. I want you to find your sits bones, kind of plant your sits bones down into the mat so you feel grounded, you feel stable, and then just stack your shoulders so they come right over your hip. <laughs>
like four o'clock. Um, <laughs> I went and observed a class. I went and took a class and I took like a two and a half hour nap and I've literally just been like sitting down for hours and hours and hours. Um, I'm gonna head to Target to get a couple things and then come home and I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm like not quite in the mood to film videos. I feel like just kind of tired. So I might be able to put that off until tomorrow, but we'll see. That's all I've got for right now. Um, I'm back from Target. A lot of what I got is like um, beauty stuff. So let me show you. I got this. It's uh, like a blow dryer and a hair tool all in one because I hate washing my hair and I'm thinking maybe if I don't have to blow dry and then style it, maybe things will go a little bit better for me. Also, one of my friends um, has one like that and she likes it. I needed to get a new brush, so I got the wet brush, the wet brand. Go Green Detangler, a revolutionary eco-friendly brush that glides through tangles without breakage or pain. Gentle on your hair and the environment. Yeah, anyway, I needed a new brush. I've had like shitty Conair ones for a long time. Nail polish remover, because I need more of that. Got some supplements. I got a melatonin supplement because I have not been sleeping very well. And I got prenatal vitamins. Don't worry, I'm not pregnant. I just had one friend tell me one time that she's taking prenatals every single day and she hasn't gotten sick. So I take them so that I don't get sick. <laughs> anyway, I've been doing that for like at least six months. I also got um, two new things in my eyebrow stuff and a nail polish because I'm gonna paint my toenails and that's all I got from Target. Also, what do you guys think of like these belt bags? This is a Lululemon belt bag that is branded with the studio I teach at. And uh, like I'm into it for like the whole hands-free thing and like not having a purse on my hip. I like it. Like, what do you guys think? Do you have one of these? Yes or no? Do you love it? I kind of love it. I did have to get a smaller wallet though and I don't have it yet. So that, those are my thoughts on that. Still not really in the mood to film. So I think today is just gonna be a wash and that's what it is. I feel like I just need a day to be not doing Pilates. Right, like any normal human, I need a day off. So um, I'm gonna take it and I say it's a day off, but like you guys know, I worked this morning, so it's not really a day off. It never is. Maybe I'll clean my bathroom. Probably not. I was also like about to get a claw clip and like little eye masks, but I didn't. I know Target has that effect on people, but like you buy stuff that you don't need and it definitely has that effect on me. So I'm glad that I restrained myself and only got stuff that I like moderately needed. It's like 7.25. I just got an Uber Eats order from um, a place called Cook and Craft that's like right around the corner from me. I try not to eat out as like much as I feel like I do in my vlogs, but it just happens sometimes. Um, but this is what I got. I feel like I got a lot of stuff. So just like, don't judge me. Um, but I got a flourless chocolate cake. It came apparently with gelato. So we'll save this <laughs> for when I'm ready for it. Um, I also got a salad. Oh, that looks so good. I got a chopped salad um, and I got Brussels sprouts and I got cauliflower wings. I'm pretty hyped up about this. Um, let me show you guys what this is looking like. This is gonna be so tasty. I feel like I've been like super bad about be eating vegetables. So like here I am eating like a thousand freaking vegetables. Um, I also just started the, like the first episode of my unorthodox life and I like it so far. I'm like so intrigued by stuff like this. Um, I finished watching Selling Sunset like last, a couple days ago um, and that was, so good, I loved it. Okay, these are the cauliflower wings and it comes with like, I think a ranch sauce. Mm. Mm hmm. That is good. Then we have Brussels sprouts. I'm like a Brussels sprout fiend, but they have pomegranates I believe and they're like balsamic glaze. That's gonna be super good. I've had them before so I know that I like them. <laughs> but I am like a Brussels sprout snob. Very good. Oh, and then I got a Cobb salad. So it has 
chicken, cheese, egg. I think it's it's really a chopped salad. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is just take one of these dressings, dump it in, and then shake it all up and see if one's enough. If one's not enough, then we have two, my dear. Oh, I should have taken a picture before I shook it up. Oh, shoot. Ten out of ten. Oh, this is so good. Okay, I'm gonna keep watching this show and you guys can just like hang out with me.